Hello everyone, and welcome to my channel. In this video I explain how to limit the maximum CPU usage of Windows Defender on Windows 11. By default, Windows Defender uses a large amount of CPU, which can slow down other applications. Windows allows you to limit the amount of CPU that Windows Defender uses when scanning and running in the background. Although Windows Defender is very good at organizing itself so that it uses as few CPU resources as possible, in some situations Windows Defender is forced to use a lot of CPU resources up to 50%. This method is especially useful for less powerful CPU and to preserve battery life on laptops, so it does not consume CPU resources and slow down other applications on your computer. So I will show you step by step how to set a maximum CPU usage for Windows Defender. Ok let's get started. I will restrict CPU usage for Windows Defender using Group Policy Editor. Click Windows key plus R to open Run Dialog and enter gpedit.msc to open Local Group Policy Editor. Note that this method is available for Windows 11 Professional and Enterprise Editions, but Home Edition cannot work this way. From the Local Group Policy Editor window, expand the folders from the left to open the path that appears in front of you on the screen, and I will leave you the path in the video description. After selecting the path, from other side of the available policies, search for the policy called, specify the maximum percentage of CPU utilization during a scan, and double click on it to open it. Before enabling this policy, read the description to understand what this policy can do. This policy setting allows you to configure the maximum percentage CPU utilization permitted during a scan. Valid values for this setting are a percentage represented by the integers 5 to 100. A value of 0 indicates that there should be no throttling of CPU utilization. The default value is 50. Select the enabled option, and at the bottom enter the percentage between 10 and 100. Do not enter a percentage less than 10, so as not to disable and throttle the CPU completely for Windows Defender, making it use what it wants. You can enter 25, this percentage is very suitable, and click on the apply button, and OK. You can now close the group policy. You must restart the computer, and from now on, Windows Defender will limit the CPU usage according to the policy settings you have configured. And in case you want to undo this method, just select disabled or not configured in the policy properties window. Thank you for watching. I hope the video is useful to you. I also hope to subscribe to my channel. Thank you all.